it's Riley. So um, this will be day five after surgery. Um, it's six days, including the day of surgery, but it's just five, <coughs> five days after the surgery because it was done on Tuesday. So Tuesday coming up will be exactly a week. But I wanted to give you a couple of updates. Um, as you saw in the video, it was like day three, didn't really do anything for day four, didn't get anything in the evening of day three, um, like once I moved over. I stayed in the hospital actually, it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so then day four, I got transferred on Friday to here, uh, which is the like uh, recovery center, um, not the hospital side, but the recovery side of it. And that was on Friday and like, I was hoping to be able to get some more videos, but once I got here and got settled, like I kind of had a couple of complications. So I'll talk a little bit on that because with my complications, it wasn't things I knew about completely. Like I knew there was a lot of risk of complications. I kind of knew what could potentially happen, but like, I just didn't hear a lot of people talking about it. So I kind of want to bring that up um, briefly. But so the first issue I had, which was the second day, um, after surgery or the first day after surgery, sorry, I had a like slight bruising on the top. Um, but it wasn't like too, too bad, but then it started getting darker and darker. So they started putting this uh, liquid stuff on it on like basically a gauze and then putting it on top just to help so to like stop, continue and hopefully then also like have a, not have as much necrosis or hopefully any. But um, yeah, I had some bruising on the top and only on the left side, nothing on the right, nothing underneath, which is good. But the whole like part of the left side is definitely very dark. Um, so that started on the second day and then like has been something I've been treating ever since. And then, so that was my first issue. And the second one um, right now mostly has been to do with my catheter. Um, but I'll touch on that in a second. My, my second one, though it was like after i think it was like my second my my second night so my second night here so been saturday um or no friday night sorry it was friday night so friday night i believe um you know they started giving you stool softeners and stuff so that you can go to the bathroom i was feeling okay finally ended up going to the bathroom i think it was like saturday morning but then after dealing with that my stomach was just like completely off like it just threw my stomach out of whack I don't know like at that point it was like I wasn't sure I felt like I was gonna puke but um you know I really wasn't able to eat like a lot so um I, yeah I, I kind of wasn't really sure what was happening and I thought maybe there was something more because like after having my first bowel movement and then then my stomach has issues I wasn't I was very fearful of what those complications could be but they gave me a um, medicine to relieve the, the tension in my stomach, which did definitely help. But what happened was actually, what was happening is like, I have a catheter, so going back to that, is it was it used to be a bag um, that it would have on me, now it's a flip flow, that you basically have to go to the bathroom every so often and empty it. Well, what happened is it's, I don't know if it's not sitting properly or what, but it's not all completely draining from that area. All that's like, seems to be draining is like, just very residual, it's not the entire amount. So over the course of a day, the amount of water I have to drink is like two to three liters. And it's a lot, it's, it seems like it's just sitting and pooling in the spot, but the valve is not either sitting correctly or it's not flowing correctly, I don't know, but it's just not coming out correctly. So then at the end of the day, like there's just this pressure build up and that's what that pressure was because eventually, like when I went to the bathroom, eventually it all just came out, but it came out through and underneath from where the catheter is inserted. Um, so yeah, like I, and I wasn't expecting that um, and that happened now twice. So that was uh, like another complication is like my, my stomach was really, really sore um, with them, like the, 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 the darkness on the top of the um, area, like on my phallus. And then as well, then also dealing with the complication with the catheter, we're trying a couple things. So we're, we're trying like a, a something to stop, like hopefully the spasms, but I don't really see how that's supposed to help the problem of it not like it going through properly. So we're, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see what happens today. If it happens again, I'm gonna let them know. But um, and there is a plan C, but right now we're gonna try plan B first and hopefully that works, but I'll keep you all up to date. But yeah, there's been some minor complications. The biggest, scariest one was getting the dark coloring on the top and, this, and the left side, just because like, I don't 
still don't 100% know and hoping that like most of it is just on the surface and nothing too too deep um because it is kind of turning into like a scab which you know men or parts of it I guess are turning into a scab which eventually will fall off but like I'm hoping the parts that like do come off are very minimal and not like too too deep like I said but um it's something I knew that could potentially happen I just sucks that like you know it's not my whole phallus I'm, I'm very like appreciative very appreciative and lucky about that just the left side but um, yeah, it was just something I wasn't expecting, but things are going a lot better today. I feel really good. Um, I ate an entire breakfast, actually had a snack in between and then just finished lunch. So this is going a lot better. I finally also got a drain out that was in my leg today. And then also, I guess coming up, I finally get to shower. Like I literally have not showered since the day before my surgery in the morning of my surgery. Uh, which is Tuesday, so, and I will shower on Tuesday, so it's a, an entire week without a shower, and I didn't think that, like, not even a sponge bath, nothing, like, no shower, and I'm like, I stink, <laughs> um, but no, like, I'm just excited about that, I get to then see my arm, um, because right now it's in this cast thing, um, so the actual cast that was on there initially has come off, so I did kind of get to see it somewhat, but there was still a white, like, filament on it, so that, and it's, like, hard, and they, they like, if you rip that off, you'd be literally ripping, like, the scab, uh, scabs and stuff, so that's, this stays on my arm till my shower day, which is Tuesday, and then I will clean it up and then rewrap it again, but that'll be the first time I see it, the same thing with my leg on Tuesday, my gauze and all the stuff that's on my leg will come off and that will be cleaned up on Tuesday. Um, and then also I have a catheter or not a catheter, another pl uh, drain plug, I'll say underneath. And it's only one, which they're like, wow, that's really surprising. Normally there's up to sometimes four plugs, but I only had one. Um, so that one plug will get taken out also, um, on Tuesday. So like three, three things that are happening on Tuesday, but it's just nice that, that, that'll be out. Cause I find like a lot of my irritation, um, is with that thing. And then like with my leg being wrapped, like it keeps giving me spasms. Um, my arm isn't too, too bad overall, like after everything, um, my pain has been mostly around a four or below, which has been very surprising. I, expected it a heck of a lot worse, especially with the way my hysterectomy went. But no, like the, the pain wise has been around a four. The worst part I've heard is usually the arm or the leg once that comes off. Cause it's like, you know, very new skin being introduced to air for the first time. And like, you know, like water and all of that jazz. So I'm not, not excited for that. I'll let you know how it goes. But um, yeah, no, I wanted to give you all this update. I said I was gonna try and do day by day, day, by day but with the last two days and going through the complications I have, I felt exhausted mentally and physically. You know, it was just great to be able to spend that time with my partner, discussing things with them and just be able to have her there for me um, for like a great support system. But no, like this is, yeah, it's it's a little bit more uh, intense than I expected it to be. Like I did a lot of research. I knew what I was expecting going into it, but it's still, you don't really ever know the experience until you're there. So just keep that in mind. Like you, I'm hoping that anybody goes through, goes through phalloplasty, they have zero complications, but just know it can happen. And that at, at the end of the day, you know, like your, your experience is going to be different than someone else's, but also too that, um, you know, you could prepare 110%, but there's nothing, no amount of preparing that can prepare you for something like you're dealing with your arm, your leg, and then a new like raft as well, um, all at the same time. And it's like, you can't do as much. Like I, I can't really do a whole lot because of my hand. Like I can't really move it as much as this one. It's going to take a long time. But uh, yeah, it's just a, it's just an adjustment. So just keep that in mind. But I wanted to give you all this update. I'm going to do some more update videos again soon. But thanks for watching, y'all. Bye for now.